Hello everyone, it's Midnight Woods here with a video of Tokyo Jungle and today we're going to be playing as the ERCX. So I thought as we played as a Sabertooth Tiger last time uh, I thought we could uh, switch to the opposite end of time. Uh, we played as an extinct animal from the past last time and this time we're playing as a robot dog from the future. So. Uh, Stats are really overpowered. Um, let's have a look at what we have to do first. So, uh, we've got to defeat the Golden Retriever boss. Oh, right. And um, looks like we've got to do some marking. And we've got more marking. And what else have we got? More marking. And more mark. Oh, right. So, 10, 20. Oh, right. So, we've got to mark a lot. Right. I better be careful with that one, actually. Uh, because anyway, where did we have to go? Oh, right, it's not. Sorry. Okay, well, let's just head for the center of the map because we don't know where the retriever boss will be. Uh, one of the things that's interesting playing as a robot dog um, is that if you mark a flag, it's irreversible because um, I've never played as an animal like this ever. Um, okay, okay, that's not quite, actually no, that's a lie. That's not quite true. Um, I have. Um, I've wandered around with them. I've had a bit of fun with them. But I've never actually tried doing a serious run with them, uh, so this is going to be the first, actually. It's the first time that I actually tried doing um, a serious run with one of the robot dogs. So, um, did I look at the stats? I don't think I did. Alright, let's have a look at the stats now. So we've got a life of 600. That is a really overpowered amount of life. So, uh, with a life of 600 and even a moderate defence of 50, that's... I consider that kind of medium defence. Um, better than some, not quite as good as others. Um, I think that we can even go against some of the fairly tough predators. So, even though uh, we're not actually that big, we're not actually a very big animal, we're only a size 3. Well, there's smaller animals, but we're certainly not uh, one of the large predators. Um, we're kind of medium, small, I guess. Right, so we don't actually want to mark anything. Uh, we want to save that for the challenges. So I should be better. I actually should be careful not to mark. And so my other stats. What were the other stats? So we had 600. We have an attack of 90. So that's reasonable. Not the best, but it's okay. Stamina again, really overpowered. 300. We have a hunger of 60. So yeah, these are crazy high stats. Uh, the only one that's a little bit low is speed. 280 is not actually all that good. Uh, it, is a it is lower than average, so speed is a little bit low, but I think that that will be made up for uh, by the insanely high stamina. So, um, I don't see us having any problems at all. I, th I think that with such stats, and we also don't even need to worry about mating, and as well as that, uh, because we never die of old age, it's simply something that doesn't happen. Anyway, where was the retriever boss? Oh, in the shopping district, okay. Uh, right, well, let's go over there in that case. So, let's head towards the shopping district. So, um, one other thing that's also worth uh, mentioning is that because we're playing as an animal that doesn't die of old age, uh, it also means that we don't need to mate. So, not only is that one thing that we need to that we can take off our list of things to worry about, but also. Um, when I get the uh, stat boosts for completing a challenge, um, I don't even have to worry about losing at least half of it uh, due to generation changes, which is what happens with all the other animals. And I think that we will complete all the challenges. So, I need to be careful not to mark anything. Because we don't want to mark anything if there's no marking challenge going on. That also means that if I'm not allowed to mark anything and I get into trouble with toxicity in an area um, that I haven't marked, I might be a bit stuffed. So, uh, one thing that's incredibly important... Oh, right, was that... Okay, well, that's a mini boss, I guess, because we're looking for a golden retriever anyway. One thing that is incredibly important when you're playing as any animal... Oh, here we go is that you know what their strengths and weaknesses are. So, uh, knowing what your animal's strengths and weaknesses are, it will help you with so many things. One of them, it will, it will help you know 
which fights you can win, which fights you can't win, which fights you might win, which fights uh, you should take, which which animals you should try to fight, which ones you shouldn't. So it gives you a very good idea of um, uh, whether whether it's um, better to uh, retreat or to continue fighting. Uh, some so, some players really overestimate their ability in a fight. I've I've seen it a lot online. Now, right, we've got to be a bit careful not to uh, get hit by any of those critical bites. Now, I think with a life of 600, I don't think that these guys are, are very much to worry about. There's five of them. Well, there were five. I've taken all five of them down, and I uh, only lost 24 of my life. So that's, I think that's exactly 4%. So, but, so with five golden retrievers, I only lost 4% of my life. So that just shows how tough we are. However, like I was saying, you have to know your animal's strengths and weaknesses. So, okay, well I'm playing as an ERCX. Um, I don't think the ER6 has actually got many weaknesses. Um, although, let's just uh, think for a moment. Oh, right, there we go. Stats plus. So, uh, my defense is now 52. What are, what are the ERCX's weaknesses? Well, one of them uh, is the inability to mark a place and the fact that it's irreversible if we do. Uh, so that means that we do need to be very strategic uh, in terms of marking the challenges. Oh right, uh, yeah, it's really going up my stats. That's good, and it will go up even more when we get to the later challenges. It also means that there's the potential that if I want to be able to sleep somewhere, uh, it may come at the expense of one of the challenges. So I think that's a slight weakness, and for that reason, when I get presents, I'll probably be prioritising things like toxicity reduction rather than hunger because as we can see with a hunger of 60 I don't think that hunger is going to be much of a problem uh, whereas toxicity um, unlike uh, some, some of the other animals where we really have to prioritize hunger and actually just like all the other animals despite being a very unique animal we do still have a problem with toxicity uh, it may be slightly easier with the uh, ERCX because oh there's the boss uh, because we have such stamina, we might be able to... Alright, oh, so that's that challenge done. We might be able to get out of toxic areas faster simply uh, because of our insane stamina, even if our speed is actually a little bit low. So, yeah, I think that toxicity reduction is probably one of the presents that I will be prioritising. I think sleeping bed will be a good one because it may be difficult to sleep, uh, given that... Uh, we can't mark all the areas, although actually past year, what is it, pa past the last marking challenge, that shouldn't be a problem anymore. So, uh, that's my strategy about what I'm going to do. So, completed all these challenges, where do we need to go next? We need to find, oh, we need to go to the woods. Hmm, okay. Um, I'm tempted to un activate the underground shortcut to Shibuya Station, but actually I am wondering if it will even be necessary to go underground because I remember when we played as a tiger uh, although we were able to go underground we never actually did because we simply didn't need to uh, the tiger it's, a, it's only a size 4 animal but it, it's it's a good hunter it's a good fighter and uh, it's a little bit hungry but that's really the only major weakness it's got other than that it, it was perfectly capable of surviving above the ground without actually having too much problem and as well as that I don't think I even lost any animals at all. I was watching that video and I'm fairly certain that I managed to uh, keep all of my brothers at all times and in fact I think that the tiger despite having the option to go underground I think that it's a better survivor above the ground than some of the other animals especially the dairy cow that's just a horrible animal to play as and uh, we will get there eventually but we're starting off with some of the easier animals, like this one, the ERCX, which I don't think is going to be any problem at all. And it actually turned out that this... Oh right, we don't want to get into a... Uh, we don't want to die now, from a, although I don't think that would kill us. What we don't want to do... Um, what was I going to say? Okay, I've forgotten actually what I was going to say there. Hmm. Okay, well let's continue. Kind of got distracted by that golden retriever. We're going to the woods uh, because that's where the next challenges are. Do we need to do any marking? Oh, we do need to do some marking. Oh, right. 
Hmm, I wonder where the best place to do that would be. So yeah, I think uh, that we're going to start off with the easy animals, like this one. Uh, and uh, then we'll work our way up to some of the harder ones. The harder ones, including the cow and the chicken. I think they're probably the two worst ones to play as in the game. Um, I think I did actually survive up to a hundred years as a chicken once. Uh, but it wasn't recorded. And I can't really prove it if it's not recorded. So, but well, anyway, we, we will be recording a video of it one day anyway. Uh, I haven't actually done it as the cow. Uh, I haven't managed to do it with the cow yet. Uh, but once again, we're going to give it a go. So it actually turned out that this ERCX was was um the evil character in the story mode of Tokyo Jungle. So we're actually playing as an evil character right now. Um, I would make okay. Maybe I shouldn't say probably shouldn't say too much uh, because that may spoil it for people wanting to play the game. Um, so um, actually no, I, I won't say too much. It, it just turned out that the ERCX wasn't uh, as good as we thought. Uh, but I won't say too much because I think that would be sp uh, be uh, spoiling it. So our hunger is starting to decrease a bit. So let's fix that problem. So well, what was the third challenge? Uh, to eat a lot. Okay, but well, that's not going to be very difficult. What's the Yamano lines like? Yeah, they're fairly good. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a difficult challenge. We don't have to, we don't even have to stay here very long. So I just uh, disappeared off for a very brief moment there, but I'm back now. Here I am back in the jungle, failing to catch up with these deers. Seek a deer. I never know which type of deer it is. I, I still haven't uh, I'm still not that good at identifying the deers. So um, while there's not a lot to do, uh, I'm going to wander down to the left just to check if there's any presents because they quite often are down there. I probably don't actually need to eat them. I think I'm just going to... I might as well just kill them and... Uh, as evil as that sounds, but... I, th I think that these robot dogs are, are... I think they are a bit evil. Wow, there's loads of animals down here. And in fact, given that there's an eating challenge next, it might be a bit silly Hmm, I think the nail file could be useful. Might be a bit silly uh, to eat too much now because we've got an eating challenge and we don't want to eat before the challenge starts. We want to do it during the challenge. Otherwise, the stats won't count. So, maybe what I should do is kill all these animals but don't actually eat them just yet. And I think... So a chicken party has started in the shopping district. Hmm... Well, it seems like all the events are happening in the shopping district then. So, it's going to be one of those runs where all the animals want to go shopping. I wonder what they'll want to buy. So, we have to eat a lot and we have to mark uh, several times. Uh, we don't actually have to do it in here. Where do we need to be next? In the shopping district. Oh, right. Well, maybe we should head back south then. Or maybe not, given the food situation. Um, actually, yeah, let's head south. Let's get this eating challenge done. Then we'll do the marking challenge. Then we'll go and find... Well, actually, is that the shopping district or is that Daganzica? Oh, no, it's Daganzica. Oh, right, so we don't actually need to go very far at all for the next challenge. It's, like, right on our doorstep from where we are right now. That's convenient. I think that I will succeed the eating challenge once I get to about 8,000 calories. So, I'm going to try and mark at least, I'm going to try and fully mark at least one of the territories. And that's just so that I can sleep somewhere if necessary. Uh, 
Oh, has it gone polluted here? Or oh, it seemed to change colour a bit. Okay, maybe that wasn't pollution. Maybe it was something else. All oh, right, it was just getting dark. It was just the sun setting. Have I already completed it? Oh, right, I've still got a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so I have a choice of uh, marking the woods and Yamanote Line East or Daganzuka and Shibuya Station. And, um, hmm, what should we pick? Hmm, what should we pick? Um, I think that I am going to. Oh, I don't know actually. Okay, um,. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this place and Yamanote Line East. And the strategy behind that is that although it takes slightly longer, uh, we will have time to do it. And I see uh, that we've also got to mark eight times between years 21 and 30. So it will actually be slightly harder then uh, than it will right now. And I'm just going to hope that the eating, um, that the food situation in those places improves by then. Uh, so if we do it in the station in Daganzuka, it won't take quite as long. So I'm just making I'm just making sure that I allow myself a bit of time uh, for the challenge after this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this place and Yamanote Line. Well, I'm going to mark three out of four of the flags in uh, Yamanote Line East. So as soon as I've done that, I'm going to make my way back. I'm going to turn around. We're going to find the billboard and we're going to mark Daganzuka and the station. I'm not going to take on a hippo. Because uh, we have got challenges to get on with. Uh, we've done two out of three of them. And in fact, uh, we'd finished both of them before we'd even started this final marking challenge. So, that's my strategy. is just to make it a bit easier to mark um, the other two places. Where do we need to be for the A challenges? I'm just... Oh, right, that makes... Sorry, I actually meant the B challenges. You have no line less west. Well, actually, we don't need to do any marking for those. Hmm, that could be a problem, the fact that we need to mark ten times and head for Shibuya Station. So, yeah, we'll have a think about what we do, what we'll do when we get there. That's planning a very long way ahead and uh, anything could happen. I, I think that it'll, it'll be easier to think about it if we just uh, wait until we're a bit nearer. Because if we worry about things now, before the... Before they come to fruition then we're, we're worrying twice and we don't really want to do that because worrying doesn't actually change how you f uh, how um, something is going to happen it just changes how you feel about it although in this case because we're playing with strategy we do need to kind of know uh, what we need to be worried about and what we don't uh, because we can use it to have a better strategy so let's mark this place right we're going to go up to the Yamano line uh, east. Okay, well these, I think they're going to get into an argument with each other. If we have to kill them all, we can, but we can just outrun them as well, so I'm not too scared of them. Right, so we're going to go in here, we're going to mark the three flags, and then we're going to head back to Daganzuka. So there's quite a lot of marking to do uh, throughout these challenges, uh, which might make it a bit tricky. Uh, so, I've actually got very easy challenges. They're actually quite tricky, these challenges. Uh, but it's just as well, because I don't want anything too easy when I'm playing as an animal as easy as this one. With such overpowered stats. We've got to have some sort of challenge. So, visibility decreased due to heavy rain. Oh dear. That's not great news. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just wondering about what to do for the... Oh! All oh, right, there's some big animals here. I don't want to get into an argument with them. I'm just wondering what to do um, about the fact that I need to go to a place that will have already been marked uh, later on. I think what I'll probably do there... Okay, so that one is done. I'll probably try and enter it from the southern end of the map. So maybe what I might do actually 
is we'll head over. So we've got to go to Shibuya Station. But we've got to be in Yamano Line West. So we don't actually need to worry about that. What I might try to do is is get to the um, other side of the map. Uh, well, I might try and mark a couple in the sewer or something. Uh, just to make up for the two. Because the two territories south of Shibuya Station are the shopping district and the suburbs. And, they'll, and they will only give me eight flags. So, we've done all of these challenges. Uh, and because they only give me eight flags, we'll still need two more. So we'll try and go underground for those ones. And then from there onwards, we'll need to mark ten times again. Ah, right, that's good. Because actually, um, uh, with the way that I've worked out my strategy, uh, we won't actually be spending a lot of time up north. And we certainly won't be marking them. Uh, until quite late in the game so I'm glad the last challenge takes us to the far north uh, so uh, the A challenges we'll probably spend in the south and underground whereas the S challenges which are the final set uh, we'll probably be spending trying to mark up north and that could actually turn out tricky actually we've got Yuyugi Park underground no I think it'll be okay actually yeah okay I think I've got I think I've got quite a solid strategy worked out I, th I think that I've worked this out. Anyway, we need to make sure that we've got a good food situation because we've got an eating challenge as well as a marking challenge. And I think that we might as well have a bit of fun as well. So what's the food... Right, the food situation is atrocious. So what I'm going to do... Let's see if we can beat this crocodile. I, th I think we probably can. We're just having a bit of fun while we got time. Hmm, okay. So he's got a very powerful hit. Alright, oh, yeah, we're winning this. We just needed those critical hits. I probably should have played that a bit smarter rather than just button mashing the whole time. I think I probably could have done a bit better than that. But still, uh, we defeated the crocodile. So, what I'm going to do is... Hmm, um... Shall I sleep? Yeah, I think that I will sleep. And the reason for that is because the food situation in the two areas is looking rubbish. So, I'm going to sleep uh, and hope that that improves the situation. Well, it's, it's, it's made a wolf uh, fall out of the sky right next to me. Obviously, the wolves are not very difficult. So... Uh, we're headed for Deganzica. Um I do know actually where that uh, billboard is that we're looking for. I actually know exactly where that is. Okay, so I'm not very really worried about that challenge. Um, I don't think the marking is going to be very difficult. I think we'll have plenty of time for that. Uh, we just need to hope that the food situation is good. So that's the only thing I'm just a little bit worried about. And of course the fact that we've got still actually got three years until it starts. Uh, so that's just going to be three years of wandering around. Um, I wonder if we could even go in the sewers and activate uh, that, um, that 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 hole that we go. I wonder if we should do that actually. You know what? I'm going to do that. Um, or actually, if I do that, then uh, if if I do, actually no, let's not do that uh, because then I, I enter the station from the middle, and that's not great for trying to mark the entire place to start in the middle to go one end and then to have to go all the way around the other okay uh, but um, we'll see if we need I think we will need to go underground for the marking challenges uh, so we'll see about uh, activating that shortcut later we won't do it right now but we will do it eventually so I think that the best thing to do maybe for now is to just hang around here uh, what we'll do is we'll sleep if the food situation becomes really bad in the two areas because now that I've marked this place I will be able to sleep again before the challenges start. It's nice to have so much stamina, it just gives me really good speed. That means that I can get around very fast despite actually not having very good speed stats at all. Uh, so I'm just going to wander around now and what I'm going to do um, is just to try and do something productive while there's actually uh, very little uh, that needs to be done I'm going to find what I've found I've found something to do and I'm going to look for presents uh, so that's that will make it easier in the long term so even when there's nothing to do I still find something to do and uh, 
I, I believe uh, that if you're bored, if ever you're bored, it means you're boring, and that's why I'm never ever bored. There is always something to do. There, there is always a way to unbore yourself. Always. Boredom is only for boring people, and I'm not going to be a boring person. Now, are there any presents up here? Well, um, I managed to unbore myself, I think, although I haven't actually done a very good job of what I was trying to do, which was search for presents. Uh, and we do need to actually make our way back now because the challenge is going to start in a year. Now, there might be some presents up here. I think this is the last place where they could be. There's sometimes some... Oh, here we go. Right, we found one. Okay, so we did find one. So I haven't completely failed my mission. And I've got a good present. And we've got quite a collection of presents. Okay. So, um, we haven't actually done that bad at all. Uh, we do need to hurry up because the challenge is starting soon and I'm not going to find and I'm not going to make my way going that way. Come on, don't be a muppet. So, we found one prison, so I haven't failed my mission. Uh, I'm actually a little bit late getting to Deganzica, so I, I think I, um, maybe, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have done uh, as much hanging around as that. So, food situation is any good? Well, it's still good in the shopping district, but it is atrocious in the two areas, so... Once again, let's sleep and see if we can change that. Whether we will or not is another matter. Oh, right, we've got a crocodile there. Um, I'm not going to kill it, actually. I think that would take a bit too long. I just want to go and do the challenges. I, I think that... I mean, maybe I should have done that, but... I probably should have done it, actually, because... Uh, we would have time to mark all the places, but... I mean, can I take down the crocodiles? Yes, of course I can. I, I just did. Um, so maybe I should have done that, but oh well, that's a decision that I've made already. Now, what's the food situation like? Well, there's some food in Deganzica. Uh Not that I actually... Um, oh, nice, a present. Uh, not that I can do very much if the food situation is really bad. Let's use that one, because I don't think that's a very good present, because there's always puddles around. And the fact that visibility is decreased is not going to work in my favour and the fact that it's polluted here. So... We're just going to have to try and mark this place as fast... You know what, let's do it! Alright, time for a bit of fun. Because I think... That if we go up here... We can do this, we can do a better job than we did last time. Still, I do want to get this done. Oh, right, uh, okay, I obviously wasn't pressing the button very fast. Come on, slow fingers. Speed up a bit. There we go. Okay, yeah, that crocodile, it's known to be um, a big nuisance to a lot of players. Uh, especially novices uh, who don't expect to see a crocodile in Deganzica, but actually they are quite a common occurrence. Luckily, playing as a robot dog, you're able to take them down, despite only being a size 3 animal. Um, I don't think there's any other size 3 animals that aren't robots that can take down uh, the crocodiles. And it's useful because uh, when there's an eating challenge going on, we need all the food we can get. So, uh, here's the billboard. There we go. Life plus 20. So now my life is even better than it was before. I'm going to mark this place. And now let's head for the station. Is there any food in here? There is nothing at all. So let's just try and mark this as quickly as possible. It's annoying that we've got an eating challenge on and we've got no food. That's not good at all. So maybe our strat maybe the strategy didn't quite work. Maybe I shouldn't have gone to a place. I thought that the food situation would improve, but it didn't. So perhaps my strategy wasn't quite as good as I thought it was. I just tried to make the marking easier, but I kind of neglected the food side of it. So, the southern end of the map... Ah, oh, nice. The shopping district is looking good. Okay, great. Uh, that's just what I need. That's, that's going to save me uh, that challenge, I think. The shopping district is looking really good. So, oh, here we go. Nice. Okay, so we get some calories here. And we need to mark this last flag. Alright, so that's eight 
flags marked, so I don't think we need to do any more. Now, let's use this to uh, get the eating challenge done. Now, that was a terrible attempt to kill a sheep. I don't know what that was all about. So, we got a life of 650 and a hunger of 66. So, our stats are even better than they were before. And what do we not need? I don't think that we need that one. And I don't think we need discount. I think discount pet food we don't need. Because our hunger is already very, very good. I think that the water bottles are going to be slightly better than the food presents. Uh, because uh, water bottles are generally better for toxicity reduction. Whereas um, the uh, food is, is better for filling up hunger. And with a hunger of 66, I don't think we're going to have much of a problem with hunger. Right, let's try and try again. Is it just me, or is this sheep really... No, okay, it's, nope, it's not good at escaping because I caught it. So, let's just eat until we get the challenge done. And then we needed to go to the station, I believe. I can't remember what the other two challenges were. Oh, nice, lots of animals here. Whoa, a tiger! All right, let's not get this wrong, but I think we can kill it. Come on. All right, let's do this. I don't want to get into a fight with it. Ha ha ha! Oh, it feels good to uh, kill an animal like that. So the size four animals, like the big cats, and uh, I think the panda as well, uh, we can just clean kill them. Whereas the bigger animals, like crocodiles, oh, oh no, no, okay, yeah, no, we can't kill. Okay, unfortunately we can't kill the bears but what we can do uh, we're gonna have to leave that bear alone unfortunately we might be able to take it out but something I have a real fear of bears in this game I, I find them uh, quite difficult to beat for some reason I think it's probably because of that charge attack although seeing as it's knackered maybe we could have a go should we have a go well it well, I think we should just have a bit of fun, to be honest. I mean, it's not like this is a difficult animal at all. I mean, it's distracted, so maybe it will be okay. There we go, look at that. With a life of 670, what have we got to be scared of? That. Although, we can go up here... Oh, that's one way of doing it. Oh, nice, it's distracted. Right, critical bite. Oh, right, we've taken away a lot of its life. Let's do that again. Oh, we're nearly there. Right, I think we can finish it off. Oh, well, well done me. We took down that polar bear. So I overcame my fear of the bears. And I took it down. I think it's that charge attack. It's the, I think the animals that I really don't like fighting are the bears and the saber-tooths. Uh, I'm, I'm, I really don't like fighting saber-tooths either. Uh, obviously the mammoths and the elephants, they're just far too strong. Uh, I try to avoid them as well. Uh, well, I try to avoid... I think we should just stay in here. Oh, 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 we need to go to Yamanote Line West. Hmm. Oh, we, we could do that later, I suppose. Yeah, let's just stay in here for now because we've got a load of... We've got loads of time. I don't think I'm going to bother eating the animals. Or not. I'm just going to kill them and uh, have them when I want them. I'm really, I've really got no problem with hunger at all. 66. Can we take down a zebra? I think we can. Oh, nice. So we can't actually clean kill it, but we've got enough power in the critical bite uh, that we can do it no problem. It does feel a bit evil just killing all these animals and not actually eating them. Certainly not something I'd ever do in real life. Is that a bear over there? It's not a bear, is it? Oh, we have another polar bear. 
Right, I think we can probably do it. We've got to avoid that charge attack though. Oh no. Okay. So, um, I'm going to try and get to a slightly safer area where I can escape from the bear if necessary. So I can go up here. Oh, just look at that. Hmm. So obviously I'm just having a bit of fun here. I think I can win this. But I do need to be careful of that. Yeah, I'm winning this. No problem. Well, I don't think I could beat two. I think one of them is probably the limit. Oh dear. Right, careful. We, we can do this. I do say play sensibly most of the time. Although I can't say that's that I'm exactly doing it. Look at that. I lost, well, nearly three quarters of my life there. Not exactly the most sensible way of playing, but look how rapidly it's going back up. Okay, so. Um, Hmm. I'm just wondering if I should stay here. Well, actually, let's go to the Gansica. That place looks fairly good as well. We can probably get all the kills done in there. Oh, really? It's polluted? Oh, I think the game heard me saying where I was going to go and thought, Oh, good. Midnight Woods is going over there. Let's make it polluted. Let, let's just let's just be annoyed. Let's just annoy him. Uh, and let's just make everything as hard for him as possible just because it's just for the fun of it and let's make all the areas he wants to go to the most awful places well game you know what I'm still gonna win so obviously we've already marked here so actually what I could do is a uh, food situation is not that bad oh okay well yes it is actually yeah well it, well, it was okay for a moment and of course I don't like night time too much although it seems like our night vision is actually very good so even with all these overpowered stats we also have good night vision as well that's just amazing so we might as well sleep because I, I do prefer daytime as much as I like all those stars in the background and wish that there wasn't so much light pollution in the uh, in the world so that we could see things like that more often it, it's really a shame um, how, how much uh, uh, the view of the stars is now obscured by all these street lights and things and it's not just the stars that are uh, affected it's also wildlife as well because um, I, know, I know that it confuses uh, the birds it confuses turtles as well and I, th I think it's all wrong I mean, animals die because of light pollution and I, I think that's wrong and I think that this uh, game even has some messages about what humanity is doing to the planet. There's definitely something there with all the cavemen and it's definitely there in the story mode as well and I think it's a very good message actually. Oh nice, so we get a present. Probably, probably don't really need more presents. Right, we've got lots of stamina jerky so I don't think we need that one. I could have used that nail file against the polar bear. Well, uh, okay. I, I suppose I could have done, but I still defeated it and never actually needed to. Have we got to do any clean kills? I can't remember if we have or not. Oh, we have. Oh, right. Okay, so let's do some clean kills. Let's clean kill this beagle. There's no eating challenge, so I don't actually need to eat them. Oh no. Visibility decreased due to heavy rain. Okay, well, you can call for help if you like. Uh, because that'll only help me with the challenges. And I'm not too scared of hyenas. Look at that, they, uh, I got a scratch from them and it only took 8 away from my life of 670. So that is just over 1%. Yeah, I'm not going to be scared of that. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get the clean kills there. But that doesn't matter too much. So, we've got a present. Oh, well, actually, that's not going to be a clean kill, even if we do. Uh, so, I don't think I'm going to bother with that crocodile, actually. What do I not need? 
Um, I haven't got many health pickups. I've got a lot of food, but not much in the way of health. Uh, that one is not very powerful, so I think I'm going to get rid of that one. And we get a portable bed. Oh, that's good. That's a good prison. That's a very good prison. That's a really good prison. I think that's the best one we've had yet. Yeah, definitely. Definitely our best yet. Alright, we get another prison. So, uh, let's get rid of that one. Because we've got quite a lot of food. Nice, a bottled water 500 millilitres. I, I was hoping for something like that. So, uh, what's our worst prison we've got right now? They're all actually very good. That's probably the worst one, just because it's medium rather than large but actually we've we've already got a very good collection of presents despite it only being year 32 so is the yamano line uh, oh right that's good for food so we'll get we'll definitely get all the challenges done over there no problem at all have a bit of fun i think we should have a bit of fun now, are these wolves chasing me? I think I might even be able to use it to my advantage when trying to kill the crocodile because it will start eating these wolves. So actually, I'm going to fight these wolves. Oh, it's doing all the killing for me. Go on, let's work. I'm going to work to get... Okay, well I think that's going to get distracted by all this food. And we should be able to kill it quite easily. Yes, yeah, so that first battle that I had with the crocodile was just rubbish where I lost over half my life. I obviously played that battle very badly. But still, we did much better that time. So, we are taking down some of the quite big animals. I do need to start doing more clean kills because I have got a clean kill challenge happening right now. So we need to uh, think about that. And thinking about that, let's get a clean kill here. Let's do this um, jackal. Couldn't remember the name. This is a very interesting animal to play as, actually. This is unlike anything I've ever done before. But I think I've worked it out quite well. I am experienced playing as regular animals, which kind of helps when playing as animals like the robot dog. As long as you know... I, th I think the most important things in this game... Uh, I, think it, I think that it's mostly just knowledge of um, the map. Uh, so I, I know this map very, very well just because I've been playing for so long. So I, I know where the best areas are. Um, and the best area, well, it's kind of a, an ambiguous question because it entirely depends also on what you need to do. Uh, whether you need to go somewhere safe, go somewhere with lots of food, go somewhere that you can mark very quickly. It, it really depends on what, on what you want to do. Uh, so that's a difficult question to answer, that one. And it also depends on what animal you're playing as, because, well, grazers, they have some slightly different shortcuts to the predators. Right, I think we can t kill these two lions. Or can't we? Should be able to. No, it doesn't want us to. I think we can take down a lion. But we don't want to get silly, that said. We do want to stay somewhat sensible, even though I haven't actually been particularly sensible throughout this run. I don't think this lion is fighting very sensibly. How are you going to beat me if, if you keep pausing so that I... Can keep hitting. Anyway, this is just um I could, but I do want to get clean kills. Where's it oh I, I it seems to have lost me, so let's just continue our journey. I uh, I'll come back to that lion later. 
How many more animals have we got? Three. Okay, so we're pretty much there. Uh, with all three challenges, actually. We haven't actually completed any yet, but we'll probably complete all of them uh, pretty much at the same time, I think. So, what have we got up here? Let's clean kill... Oh, no, we can't clean kill those, although that's said... That shouldn't even be here. We can do such a cr powerful critical bite uh, that the Dynanikas will really suffer from the lack of defence. <laughs> but we didn't get a clean kill, I don't think, because uh, we can't uh, with animals above size 5. Anyway, what is a dinosaur doing here at year 37? Um, no, let's not bother with that buffalo. They're not supposed to spawn until past year 60. It's only year 37 and they're here already. That shouldn't be happening. Oh, right. Life, so my life is now 690. Just crazy. That is just absolutely crazy. Okay, I'm, I'm not too happy that visibility has decreased. Hunger is now 70. And we only need to clean kill one more animal until we get the last of the bee challenges done. Let's go and do that now. Oh, well that was it. So we pretty much completed all three of them at the same time. Now, I don't know if I want to stay up here because we need to go back down to the station and get that marking challenge done. And we're probably not... I don't really want to do it up here. So, there's a few northern territories that we haven't marked. So, we've actually... Um, we've done quite a good job of marking the central territories of the map. So, that includes Yamano Line East, Shibuya Woods, Daganzuka and Shibuya Station. But we haven't actually been... Uh, to any of the northern territories, uh, Yoyogi Park, we haven't actually visited at all. So, um, we're going to try and head down south. So what I'm going to do, I haven't marked the extreme south, I haven't marked the extreme north, I haven't marked the underground. So my plan is that because the A challenges are taking us to a southern territory, we're going to mark the southern territories during that those challenges. And in fact, they... They actually look very similar, the A and the S challenges. Lots of just eating and marking. But for the S challenges, uh, because it, the, uh, the we need to go to a northern territory, we're going to try and stay up north during years 61 to 75, but we're going to stay south from years 46 to 60. So we have actually still got some way to go, but I'm going to start... Or should I? Or should I? Should I just stay here, actually? You know what? Do we need more presents? be honest I don't think we do um, no I don't think we do need more presents um, maybe a few more health pickups I guess because uh, I think actually we could do with probably more health pickups um, I don't think stamina jerky is really gonna help us when we've got such insane stamina well, that was a rubbish attempt so maybe get a few more health pickups and a bit less stamina jerky and then Maybe just try and upgrade what we've got a bit. Maybe get some magazines as well. That would be very useful. So, uh, let's go and get some presents. Let's just try and... Oh, well, here we go. Apparently it's my birthday, so uh, that didn't take a lot of asking for. So let's use up that one. I don't think that's the most useful one we've got. Bottled water, 500 milliliters. That's a very good present. Um, not quite as good as the magazine, but still very good because it entirely eliminates toxicity and it slightly fills up my hunger. Uh, whereas the um, large pet pack is also very good. Uh, it doesn't fill up hunger, but it increases health, so that's good as well. I don't know why I've come up this way, by the way. Oh, right. Uh, so we seem to have walked into a load of lions. Um, I don't really feel like fighting them. I just want to collect presents. So uh, I think we don't need that one. We've got enough water. Hearty chicken breast. Oh, yeah, I'd kind of forgotten about that one, actually. So... Uh, we're just collecting presents, really, while we're in the middle of a load of lions. So, uh, obviously these lions are not part of the present. Uh, it's certainly, it may be my birthday in the game with all these presents, but these lions are not part of the present. So here's, here we go, is another present. Right, we don't need all this water. Let's get a magazine. Stamina jerky. Uh, right, okay. 
not quite what I wanted, but not bad. Anyway, let's just outrun these lions. They're not going to be that difficult to outrun. Well, we're not going to try fighting them. We're just going to outrun them. That's not going to be very difficult because we're not really... We haven't really got much to do. We're not really in a critical situation. So those lions behind me, they're not actually scaring me very much. I'm not even using stamina and they're barely even catching up. Let's just get rid of that lion cub. Look at that, it's knackered. Right, let's just outrun them. They're not scaring me in the slightest. The glutton's feast is being held in Daganzica. Hmm, what does that mean actually? So we just got this massive, massive trail of lions behind us, and we're we're barely even scared at all. I'm not scared of them. Go on then, you can come and chase me if you want. I'm not scared. I wonder if we can run them into something. You know, just having a bit of fun, really. So yeah, we've had quite a lot of fun in this run. Uh, we haven't exactly played seriously throughout the whole run. And I did say at the start of this video that this would be my first ever serious run with the robot dog. Although that said, it hasn't exactly been serious. Uh, but more like it's the first attempt uh, to actually uh, get a good run, completing all the challenges. Right. We can take down these crocodiles. Because our stats are going up and up and up. Has my attack gone up? Hmm. Oh, right. This is, this is going badly. Hmm. No. Okay. Yeah, this is actually not going very well. Okay. Fine. Okay. We won't do that one. Let's go and see what the event is. Oh, I think that... Should we see if we can get them fighting each other? The lion and the crocodile. Oh, don't run away. Come on. Predators don't... Oh, there it is. Right, come on. Let's, we're just having a bit of fun once again. Alright, let's try and lure the crocodile towards the lion. That's it. That's what I want. Good. That's what I want. Right, come on. Right, to the lion. We're going to have a bit of fun here. We've got time. There we go. Hmm. You know what? Who's going to win this fight? Who do you think is going to... I think that... I don't know who's going to win, actually. My guess is the lion will just about win. But I think it'll be close. We should really go... We should go to the station. If we actually, if we actually want to play sensibly at all. Uh, we really are not playing sensibly at all at the moment. Oh, is the crocodile running away? No, it's not. No, it's still in the fight. Well, the lion I can clean kill, but the crocodile I can't. Hmm, it looks like the lion is actually winning this. I do need to watch my toxicity, so... Oh, right, I can't drink because I had a drink uh, not too long ago. The crocodile is not very good at avoiding the attacks by the lion. I did also start the crocodile off. Okay, I would like to watch this, but I kind of think that... Well, right, let's just give the lion a bit of a hand. Oh, right, so the lion was winning. There we go. Right, that's a win for the lion. Life is decreasing due to critical toxicity, so let's see if we can do something about that with this hyena or is it toxic oh dear I better use it right we I think we need to use a present in that case hmm uh, well okay um, let's use that one that's a shame I didn't want to have to use a present already everything was toxic like I said I'm not exactly playing sensibly Well, that lion tried to kill us, didn't it? Oh, a rubbish attempt to kill. Okay, well, we're not going to kill that lion then. That isn't working. I wonder if we, what we should do. Uh, no, I won't, actually. I was thinking about 
uh, going through through the sewers and marking uh, that uh, uh, and uh, activating the shortcut between the sewers and the station but actually I'm not going to do that just yet I still haven't done it and it's year 44 I always say that it's something that you need to get done early and yet I'm nearly halfway through this run and I still haven't done it oh don't eat toxic food that's what Muppets do hold on no it's uh, no I am okay because I can sleep all oh, right so we're fine and of course I can drink this all right so we're, we're actually fine uh, because we can sleep over here um, we don't actually need to worry too much so I think that what I'll do is when we can we'll just mark everything because there'll be no harm in doing that I just held off doing it for the uh, challenges so let's head for the station we're actually a little bit late getting there and that was because we kind of got distracted by that fight between the lion and, and the crocodile which the lion won I wonder who would win in in the in the, a real battle in the wildlife because I think they do actually occur uh, between crocodiles and lions I, I thought the crocodile usually wins um, I can't say that I can confirm um, I think I think I've, I vaguely remember seeing some videos of about five lions fighting against one crocodile or something I think it was something like that but I don't remember too well okay I think there's a eating challenge going on so right well seeing as there's an eating challenge let's do some eating just so that we can get a head start on that challenge there was lots of food up here so let's try and get some food from here oh right it's all hyenas okay well they won't be very difficult oh wow look at that that'll almost be enough to get the challenge done straight away no don't eat my food for me oh no they've already started don't eat my food for me did you not were you not listening to me in the game obviously they were or maybe they were and they decided to do exactly what I told them not to do right so we still got one more no that's all done so let's start the eating uh, the marking I don't think the marking will be a problem even even if we arrive there a bit late because we'll go to the sewers because the eating will be done uh, we can just rush through the marking as fast as possible and that shouldn't actually be a problem at all now who's eating my food oh it's you I should have known can you not see that I've got a challenge going on sorry I'm just uh, a bit of silence there because I was just concentrating thinking about what I need to do now I think that should put us quite close to uh, the eating challenge oh right not quite as close as I thought actually we've still got about 2,000 left but I don't think that that will be a problem oh though right okay well that's a bit less still now the height is actually only 200 I thought they were a bit more than that um, I thought they were about 320 or something but okay we'll just have to manage with that let's go and get the shopping district and the suburbs marked and we'll get two flags done in the sewers oh defense plus eight that's going to be useful uh, I definitely needed some extra defense uh, because I didn't do too well in some of the fights that I got into earlier so I really need all the food I can get because uh, I've still got to get 2,000 calories more now I hope that the station and the suburbs will actually be markable uh, because uh, we have actually reached the stage where uh, a lot of the bigger animals start arriving the Shibuya shopping district looks good in terms of food I just hope that uh, it doesn't it's not completely unmarkable due to the uh, situation with large animals all right let's get some food here uh, 
And let's kill this cheetah. Yeah, we can kill the big cats, no problem. I think that even if we got into a fight with a cheetah, although it's got a very fast and powerful attack, I think that with a life of 690 and a defense of, what was it again, 60? I think we'd be fine. Now, there was an event in Daganzica, although I kind of missed it, to be honest. It, didn't, it wasn't a very exciting one. Hmm. Was it two polar bears? Oh, that's not good. Well, I think we've... Three polar bears? Oh, dearie me. Four of them. Five. Is this a sixth? Yep, another polar bear. Is there an event going on in here? No, there isn't. Then what are all these polar bears doing? I shouldn't mark territories in a fight. Okay, well, they're, they're, they seem to be killing each other now. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to get them all fighting each other. And we'll just sneak past them. I should do some eating. So let's get this tiger. Let's have this tiger for ourselves. Uh, they can all fight between them because I think we'll get enough food, no problem. And what have we got here? Two cheetahs. I think they'll be okay. Yeah, I think we can clean. I think we can take down a cheetah. Yeah, they're fine. No problem. Oh no! It's turned toxic. Yeah, cheetahs are no problem. Tigers. Go back. Well, I need to get rid of this tiger because I need to mark that flag. Hmm, no, this isn't going well. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, wow, defence is now 68. That is really good. Oh, let's just do it anyway. I shouldn't do this. Ah, well, okay, that's done. Uh, I took a bit of a risk there, which is not always a good idea. But still, it paid off. It worked. And we've got the eating challenge done. So let's just get the marking done. Of all these. All right, let's take another risk. I shouldn't. Oh, well, we've done it now. They all seem to be fighting each other. I just seem to be involved for some of them, but not all of them. I wonder if that cheetah's chasing me. No, it's not. Okay, I do know my way around the suburbs, so let's go in here. I don't need to eat anymore, do I? Nope, I don't. I just need to mark. Yeah, I need to make sure that that gets done. I do need to make sure that this challenge gets done. Oh no, not pollution. That's bad. I'll probably have to use another one of these presents in that case. Still, uh, we haven't got a shortage of presents. We can always go through the underground facility and we probably will at some point. Yeah, I, th I think we will go through the underground facility eventually. Because uh, that always guarantees us some good presents. So if we get a bit short, we can always go underground. So I'm not all that worried. We've got enough that I don't need to worry too much. All right, I don't want that lion. Ha ha ha! I don't want that lion causing any disturbances, and I don't want this lioness uh, trying to do anything similar. So, we need to get rid of this toxicity. Let's use one of these. And then what we'll probably have to do is we'll go and sleep um, just to get rid of the toxicity once we've marked this place and then we'll go to the sewers and get the next two do we, oh, we need to sleep oh here we go present a nail file oh right actually we might have time that we, that we won't need to sleep uh, because toxicity doesn't go up at all in the sewers uh, I do want to get that challenge done so, pretty much the entire southern area of the map we've already marked. We just haven't done the northern areas or the underground yet. So, uh, toxicity of about 40 will be okay to go in the sewers. 
So, let's go down here. This is my first time going in the sewers for the whole run. Wow, my points are really low. Only 54,000, and yet it's year 54. So what's that, a thousand points per year? That's not actually very much, but because... There's, I suppose because there's no ranking up, or, or um, and I'm not doing much marking, I suppose we don't get as many. Maybe that's why. Now, there should be some presents around here. Okay, so with toxicity back down to zero. Disease has swept through Shibuya Station. Oh dear, that's not very good. We'll try and avoid that place then. Luckily, we've already marked it, so it's not too much of a problem. We don't really need to kill that rabbit. There's no real... Yeah, there's no reason to kill it. I don't want to destroy the entire population of animals. Shibuya Station is polluted. Oh, right, it doesn't sound like a very good place, does it? It's polluted. It's filled with disease. Although if the animals are trying to kill me, that's different. Then they can go. That's, self that's just self-defense, I suppose. Well, what's chasing me? I just want to mark flags. Hmm, where's the next one? Oh, right, it's only right in front of us. Okay, in that case, what I'll do is I'm going to activate this shortcut. We've only got one more flag to mark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to suspend the game and take a break. So I will see you all soon. Okay, so here we are back in the jungle and I remember what I had to do. Oh dear, who's seen me? No one. Oh right, false alarm. Okay, so what we have to do is we just have to mark a couple of flags and I think that we can do it in here, can't we? Oh, well, okay, we only need one more. Okay, well that's not going to be very difficult because it's literally right in front of us. I probably didn't actually need to do that. Yeah, I suppose I don't really need to kill it. Yeah, let's not bother. Oh, that can just use serve as a distraction for that wolf, so that I can sneak past and complete the last one of the A challenges. And I've now got a hunger of 88. Right, uh, so we don't want it calling for help. Oh, and we don't want to get bitten by critical attacks. And we want to take down the whole pack. Ha ha ha! Now, uh, my memory is not. Uh, helping me because I've forgotten what the next challenges are. Oh right, oh right, I've got to do a lot of eating. Right, okay, so I've got to do a lot of eating, so the underground facility looks good. We've still got five years until the next challenge, so I don't think we're in any rush at all actually, so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna mark this place. I, I might as well just... Ooh, oh, okay, well we don't want to go... Oh, three of them, hmm. Okay, well that's not exactly desirable. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, um, it doesn't really matter if I mark things before the challenge has started because I've still got a lot of places up north and underground that I haven't marked yet. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, so it doesn't matter too much if I mark these places a bit prematurely. Doesn't actually matter at all. Oh, I didn't want to drink the water. Still, doesn't do any harm. Toxicity doesn't increase by very much, so we'll be fine. I think that a productive use of time uh, here, uh, while there's not very much to do, and we haven't we haven't really got to do very much. I think the best thing to do is just to wander around and uh, think about um, improving my collection of presents. So one thing that I don't think I did actually while I was back down there is that there's an area that I didn't check uh, that quite often does have presents and as we've still got quite a lot of time um, oh actually actually no it's not over here I thought it was but it's not okay never mind that so we've still got quite a lot of time so if I forget to check something I will have time to go back I've still got three years uh, we might as well just mark this because I mean, I'm not gonna wait around for three 
uh, in game years. So it was actually here I was looking for where there's often presents, although in this case uh, there aren't any. So let's just continue moving forwards and see what we get. So let's see if there's anything in here. Oh yes there is. So uh, we've got to think about what don't we need. I haven't used these nail files very much but I don't know if they might come in useful later. Um, we haven't got many of these health pickups. I think we could do with a few more of those. Um, I'm thinking that one. Although actually that actually that one is. Bleh. Let's get rid of that one. I don't think that one's going to be very useful. Pet medicine, small. Oh right, yeah, they're not very good. They only they only increase health by about twenty. So what's that? Twenty is a percentage of uh, six hundred and ninety. Uh, that's not actually very much at all. Uh, if I work that out correctly, that's about three or four percent. In fact, no, it's not. Four, it would be three percent, wouldn't it? That's six, six hundred ninety, six point nine, one percent, thirteen point eight, twenty point seven. So just under three percent, actually. So let's get rid of that one because that's no good. And we get Primo Pet Food. Um, well, that's an okay present. I don't think it's quite what I was hoping for. Let's see if we can go up here. And let's see if we get anything up here. We're really in, in no rush at all to do anything at the moment. We're not in any rush to go anywhere in particular. Um, we're, we're just in a, a very relaxed um, state at the moment. Um, not really... A bit aimless at the moment. Not really doing anything. Um, we didn't even need to do that, but we might as well. I mean, 88 hunger, what can go wrong? Life of 690. Oh, nice. Well, what's my attack? Because I, I just killed that rabbit very easily. Let's have a look at some stats. Let's see what my stats are. My attack is exactly 100. And is it going to go up any more? Oh, yes, it's going to be 120. And which is where I will have a defense of 84. That is actually even more than some of the uh, larger animals, like the tiger. Uh, I'll actually have even more defense than the tiger. So I could potentially be an even... Well, actually, no, I probably wouldn't be a better attacker than the tiger because there'd be certain animals that I wouldn't be able to clean kill, but my defense uh, would be just as good. That all said, would it actually be better than the tiger? Probably not, because... Uh, obviously the tiger's defense it starts at 80 that's a starting point it, it doesn't stay there I, I thought I started off with about 50 or was it 60 um again my memory is not helping today right what don't we need so boys and girls what don't we need um have we used many of those um I might keep them just for the challenge just in case they help us get somewhere a bit quicker um, I don't think we need a nail file, but we probably don't need three of these. So I think that I'm going to get rid of this one, actually. A portable bed. Oh, right. That's a very good present. I like that. That's a very good present. A portable bed. Because uh, that allows us to sleep whenever we want. Now, if I remember right, the underground facility looked like a fantastic place for food. So I think... Do we need to mark that flag? Well, there's no harm in marking it. Uh, but then, as we go through the underground um, facility, it's easy to come back. Oh, God, uh, yeah, okay, let's mark it. Uh, I'll probably uh, end up being annoyed that I hadn't marked that flag if I don't mark it. So, let's go and mark it. And we can all even look for presents around here while we've got some time. And there's nothing. Okay, so we didn't get any presents, unfortunately, but we probably will when we go through the underground facility, and we'll get three uh, high-quality presents. Uh, quite often we do get nail files at the end. I don't really want any more nail files. I think that two is enough. Uh, so, uh, 60, year 61 is about to start, uh, and this means that, well, one of the challenges has started. So, Yakisoba stand, that's not difficult. I know exactly where that is. Um, I think that the Deinonychus um, is one of the types of dinosaurs that I will be able to take out um, if I play uh, playing as this DRCX because um, well, I'll certainly have enough defense eventually. I don't think I, I want to take out the Dilophosaurus. I think they're a little bit too strong. 
Now we've got some animals down here, so that will uh, give us a start towards our oh, it's hyenas. Okay, well I think there are only 200 calories, and one of them is running away. But still, it's better than nothing. So uh, we want to make some progress uh, towards all three challenges at the same time. Uh, the underground facility it takes us towards the yakisoba, the slightly longer route, but that's fine because it's relatively safe over there. There are a lot of big animals, but we have got the defense and the speed to avoid them, so I'm not too worried about that. If there's a saber tooth, we can probably just outrun it. If there's a panther, we can probably take it down. A Deinonychus, I think we can take down as well. Dilophosaurus, we can uh, make use of its uh, oversized uh, frame by just, um, well, getting out of its way somehow. So what do we have here? We have a panther. Right, well, that's not difficult. We can just take it down. It didn't even see me. Right. So I'm confident that I can complete all three of these challenges. I, I don't think that I'm going to have any trouble at all. Uh, especially like that. So what do we have here? We have two panthers. Right. I think that I can get... I, I can... I'm confident in my fighting abilities. So let's take... Oh, well. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I wasn't actually quite that confident that it would go quite as well as that. That, that, that was easy. That was literally scratch and kill it. <laughs> yeah, that, that was um, that was good. Uh, very well done. Very good. So we want to mark all these flags. We've oh, got here another panther. All right, we've got a lot of panthers here. This seems to be panther heaven. Anyway, we do need to get on with these challenges. Um, I mean the marking challenge. But then again, we are getting a head start on the eating, so. If we get that one done, uh, we can just rush through the marking, and that won't be any. Pro oh right, no, we don't want to. No, I don't. I don't want anything to do with saber tooths. Oh no, no, this isn't good. That's not good. Okay, don't come on the lift with me. Oh no, uh, that's exactly what I hope to avoid. Uh, I'm thinking I might have to use a sleeping. Oh no, I don't. Okay, so we we didn't have to use a sleeping bed, but we got a bit close there. That did not go how I wanted. And these animals are too big to clean kill, so I'm not even going to bother. Uh, I'm not even going to bother trying if, against a mammoth. Uh, that one we can. That's no problem. But no, we're, we're not fighting saber tooths. That would be. Uh, uh, or try. I think. I think maybe we could win, but it's too risky. It's not worth it. Uh, I know. I know which fights I can and can't win. Porcupines. But I think we'd have to be an absolute muppet not to take down a porcupine. That was a little bit worrying, actually, with those two saber tooths. I thought that it was a little bit worrying, actually. I, I, I thought that I might uh, get um, end up in an endless series of pounce attacks and end up in a lot of trouble. But actually, it turned out we were okay. Disease has died out in Shibuya Station. Well, that's not really relevant to us because we're very far from Shibuya Station. So if we that was a bit delayed. We take down a few of them. We must be quite close now uh, to these uh, eating challenges. We have eaten a lot. Now we get a present. What do we get? A camisole dress. Now I don't really wear dresses. I, I don't really think they're necessary. And what do we get now? A straw hat. Uh, yeah, well I don't really wear straw hats um, in the game either. Oh dearie me. Um, I think we should just... Oh no, that's not what I intended. Um, can we take them down? Or is that being stupid? Um, I think that's risky. Oh, oh no, this, actually no, that's... Okay, no. Let's... Should we mark? They seem to have lost me. I think we should just get away from there. No, I'm, I, I... Could I take them down? Well, maybe I could. I don't know. Um, I don't think it would be the most sensible thing to do, but um, we have challenges that we need to get on with and it would just take too much time. So trying to take down all those Dilophosaurus, uh, sorry they're not Dilophosaurus, they're Deinonychus, it's just not a very good idea, it doesn't work. Now how many more calories do I need? Only 640, oh right so we've made good progress here. Uh, we're still a little bit behind on the marking. Uh, that's the one that I want to catch up on. There's too many saber tooths, but I think that I don't think we'll have any trouble finding 640 calories. So maybe we don't need to worry too much about that one. 
Um, my present collection is very good, so... What we got here? We've got a mammoth. No, I'm not taking down a mammoth. I could probably have used the, that nail file for those Dynanicus and had a bit of fun, but maybe we'll do that later. Oh well, I didn't do it, um, maybe, but we will try and have some fun later, and we have actually had quite a lot of fun throughout this episode. Now, is that all the calories I need? Was that enough? It was! Oh right, excellent. So that's one of them done. Okay, so that's one thing I don't need to worry about now. Still want to get this marking done. I think, but I think that we'll be able to do that. Oh, nice! Uh, so they're, they're not going to attack me because I'm one of them this time. So that's actually one less thing that I have to worry about when I'm down here. Great, so I seem to be crossing things off my list of things to worry about. But these things, they're not... I haven't got them chasing me, so I'm all good. All good. Now, I believe that we need five more flags. Yes, we do indeed. So, uh, the underground facility... Um, sorry, no, we've, we've done that. I was thinking Yogi Park Underground. That will be very easy to mark, because uh, I'm right by it, and it's one of the safest areas and very easy to mark on the entire map. It's entirely underground. Um, it's not very big, so it doesn't take too long. And there's never many animals down there, so uh, it's very rarely unmarkable. I just want to get rid of this panther. Should we just... Let's just do it that way. I don't actually want to eat it. I just wanted to, well, get rid of it. I probably could have used the mammoth for that. That would be interesting, watching a mammoth completely destroy the, the uh, panther. No, we're not getting into any fights with the mammoth. Maybe we will after year 100, but not yet. No, now it's too early. Uh, we've got challenges to complete, and we do need to play uh, to a uh, somewhat half-decent level of sensibleness. So, up the elevator we go. And we should get some presents. Now, um... Right, we do need to get these challenges done. I keep repeating myself there. Come on, Big Night Woods, we know that. You've said that enough times. Right, what do I not... Whoops. Um, what don't I need? Um, do I need... I don't think I need two nail files. I think that's too many because I'm probably going to get another one. Magazine, that's a fantastic present. So now that we've, we've got two health pickups, um, that's probably a bit useless. Then actually we could use it. Three portable beds. Wow. We have three portable beds. Hmm. Um. Hmm. What else don't I need? Um. Well, I probably don't need these ones. Well, I suppose I've got that. I've got that. So we've got three food pickups. Um. And a nail file. Okay. Right. Let's get some marking done. Let's go. To, let's go and visit the Yakisoba stand. And try not to get killed by dinosaurs. As, well, okay. Um, well, my stamina jerky is active, so I don't think they're too much to worry about. Uh, the saber tooth will probably take care of them. Right, okay. This is not a very good place. I seem to be being chased by a lot of dinosaurs. So I think that what we should do is go to the Yakisoba stand and then head straight back underground but then we won't actually have enough flags marked for to complete the challenge okay well in that case um hmm what should i do oh, i can't oh no how many of them are there chasing me oh they're even calling for help so i'm not too worried about okay that's the defense done and i try and go in here and maybe mark one of the flags uh, obviously uh, well this place is obviously completely unmarkable Right, I'm going to try and sneak over there, mark this one flag. We only need to mark that one. And now all we need to do... I mean, we could even mark this place. Uh, I'd feel safer going to the underground. But then, if I mark this... I don't know. Uh, it seems a bit risky going to the Yamano Line West. I mean, look at that place. There's loads and loads of animals there. And even if I could mark this place, I think that I might... Uh, get a bit overwhelmed by lions if I go to Yamano Line West. So the reason I've chosen Stamina Jerky is obviously because I've got to outrun all these dinosaurs. 
and I've got a marking challenge on which I need to get done now I'm not worried about these dinosaurs at all because they can't follow me underground so there's a hole just in front of us we're gonna go down here and now we're safe we're completely safe and I don't have to worry about those dinosaurs at all and that is one of the great things about being a small animal like this one so uh, yo yogi park underground we got four flags to mark correct absolutely correct so let's go and get these four flags done let's just get rid of this one um, I think I'm quite happy with how my strategy has worked I have ended up a bit short of oh I didn't mark it oh right I don't know what happened there there we go now it's marked my Stanley jerky is helping me complete the challenges quicker now I know that there's a flag just here so let's mark that one and there's one more here and there's one more over here and that is the last one um, it seems to be a bit empty down here so if we stay here too long uh, we'll die of hunger but it was very useful because it was a quiet place where we could just quietly get all the challenges done without being uh, disturbed and overwhelmed by dinosaurs uh, but now that that's all done um, I'm tempted to sleep actually and the reason that I'm going to sleep um, is because I'm just thinking that the food situation you know, new and older clashing should be of woods nah, that's too dangerous um, yeah I'm just thinking Yamano line west is just gonna be a, a lion hell basically um, we, we can't do anything in Yuri Park East there's just too many dinosaurs so I'm gonna try and sleep and see if that can shake up the food situation a bit and see if maybe I can achieve a bit more out of Yogi Park East or it's also possible uh, that we'll just be stuck underground for the rest of the game but anyway is that all the challenges done? well it's saying active but I haven't failed any maybe it just needs time to... Re ah right there we go so complete all the challenges so I've just completed all the challenges 30,000 points are mine so well done me let's just see what we can do for the rest of the run we've just got to survive another 28 years and it's actually just over 28 minutes until New Year's Day where I am uh, it is currently what's the time it's uh, just before half 11 it's not quite half 11 yet but we're nearly there uh, so um, it's quite probable that I'll still be playing this run and recording this video at the time of New Year's Day so uh, that I suppose that will be my chance to wish Happy New Year to you all um, I suppose it's not really quite what I'm supposed to do on New Year's Day I shouldn't or New Year's Eve it's because uh, here I am uh, locked away uh, I've got the I've got the house to myself today and here I am sitting here recording a video in the jungle uh, but still um, 2020 hasn't exactly been a year to celebrate um, it's been a bit of a disaster I think uh, so I'm okay with that and it's just passing of time I mean uh, the earth continues turning and the moon continues going around it and nothing actually changes um, except a number that's really all that changes um, so yeah it's, it's, I don't think that anything it seems like people are seeing this year as a it's kind of a uh, end to this year and the start of a new chapter but it isn't really because we're still going to be in a global pandemic in at the start of 2021 so nothing much is actually changing um, and I didn't really uh, uh, see an, 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 it just didn't quite happen New Year's Eve this year uh, for some reason I have done it in the past but it's not my favorite of all of them and it's not really something that 
uh, I really get into it. I, I don't really feel uh, like it's much to celebrate. Um, so yeah, I'm okay sitting here recording games for you so that you can, uh, well, enjoy this video and uh, however you want to. Maybe you might learn something or maybe I'll just get laughed at. Uh, whatever you like really. Um, so we've got a Dilophosaurus here. This place it does look a bit crazy. Okay, uh, they can't get us down here. Right, this place is just far too crazy. Even sleeping has not helped the food situation. I don't want to go to Yamanote Line West. So I think I'm going to take the regrettable decision to go back underground. Oh, thank you. Where did you come from? Uh, I don't really want to go back underground. Um, it seems a bit boring to do that, but uh, I just don't think that I'm going to get anywhere doing anything else. Um, or maybe we can try and... maybe Actually, maybe we can have a bit of fun. Uh, let's see what's going on up here. Um, we don't want to get involved in any of these fights. What have we got? We've got... How Jeez, that, that is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. And look at that. Look at that. We've got a saber-toothed tiger over there. Let's just walk up to it. We've got a saber-toothed tiger here who is asleep. But we've got several sleeping saber-toothed tigers. Now, come on. Because when you go into war and you're on the, uh, and you're on the battleground and there's, uh, let's say, machine guns firing at you, the last thing that you're going to do is fall asleep. You're not going to fall asleep in the middle of a battlefield. That's nonsense. But still, this is a video... Wow! What is going on over here? Now, we need to be a bit careful. We don't want them coming too close to us. I think that Dilophosaurus is absolutely dead. No, come on, don't... Oh, uh, what, really? They actually think they can take down all these saber-tooths? There we go, that's one down. Now, even if I've got the whole pack chasing me, I'm not actually worried at all. And that is because I've got the option of going underground. I think that the saber tooths are dominating this place. There's going to be nothing left if they continue the way they are. So, how many of them are there? My goodness. Thank goodness they can't go underground. Well, actually, some of them do go in the underground facility, but at, at least they're not as abundant as that. My goodness, that was crazy. And I'm crazy for even considering marking this place uh, but yeah we gotta have some fun hmm who will win this one all oh, right my uh, hunger is running out uh, but still have we got enough all oh, right we've got some rabbits here uh, well that will solve that problem no I can't even see if it's toxic or not no it's not all right that's very lucky actually um, three sleeping beds do we need three of them um, Hmm, what do we not need? Um, hmm, what don't we need? Uh, we probably don't need that one. Probably don't need a nail file. I don't think we need many of these. Um, hmm. What don't we need? Uh, do we need two nail files? We probably don't. Let's get rid of that one because we haven't actually used any throughout the entire run. Oh, well, yeah, I should have used that nail file on those uh, uh, Dynanikas earlier. That, I think that would have been a good decision. Another present? Oh, well, that one's not very useful, so that's an easy one. Discount pet food. Right, we'll get rid of that one next. What can... How are we against them? Oh, no, no, not two of them. No, we're not doing two of them. Hmm, I was lucky that I didn't get punished for that. I think they were distracted by food. If I can mark this place, I will be very proud of myself. But luckily it's not polluted and it is daytime, so I can see what's going to kill me. Another present? Jeez, is it my birthday today? I didn't think it was. But apparently it is. What have we got here? Right, oh... Right, we need to be a bit careful, but these ones we can take out. Look at that. I pressed that R1 button so fast uh, that I managed to uh, kill it with just a critical hit. That was good. Well done, me. 
Now, I'm going to do something potentially very clever. This might not work. Now, I'm not going to eat this rabbit. I'm going to lift it up. Because I can see there's quite a pack of dangerous animals in front of me. I don't know what they are. So I'm going to use that as a distraction. Turns out they're actually already distracted, killing each other. Um, I probably could have used it on these Dilophosaurus here. But anyway, they're too far from the flag to see me. So let's not worry too much about them. Uh, they'll get distracted if they come through here. So they, these guys appear to be distracted. So I don't think that I have too much to worry about. Well, they're definitely distracted. What, why are they just walking? Oh, right. That one's running away. But it seems like the Dynanikas are actually winning. Which is interesting. Or are they getting tired? Um, well, I think they're a load of... Hmm... I'm just interested to see what's going on. Uh, I think that they're just a, a, a group of silly Muppets, basically. Uh, so, how many more flags? Uh, not too many. Well, that we need to be very, very careful of. That could be terminal if we get into too much trouble there. So, I think we'll have to do this carefully. Oh, right. Well, it looks a bit dangerous up here. Hmm, I don't know if we'll be able to mark this place. I like killing these things. I love killing these things. I love doing that. I absolutely love doing that. Yeah, that looks a bit unmarkable, unfortunately. The showdown in Shibuya Woods has been settled. Yeah, I, d I didn't want to go there because that's um, tigers and saber tooths. That's just too dangerous. Okay, so there's dinosaurs chasing me. So it's time to do something sensible because you can't come down here. Let's drink some water just to get my hunger back up. Let's have this rabbit. Okay, so uh, I was hoping that perhaps I might be able to mark Yoyogi Park East, but uh, as it is in the current situation, that's a fairy tale. So let's move on. And let's just go down here. Maybe if it calms down a bit, we can come back to it later. What have we got here? we got a pig. I do actually need to fill my hunger up a bit. Actually, do I really? I think it looks worse than it is, because I see uh, the, uh, the bar, and it's only 75% full. And yet, um, I probably should have kept that, actually. It's only 75% full, but actually I have still got 66 left. Uh, which is far better than I'm going to have with most other animals. So let's just wander down the sewer and see... We'll try and at least attend one of the events. Um, that's something that I haven't actually done in a while. I remember last time I played as a saber-toothed tiger and oh my goodness, there were loads of events going on and they were just all in the wrong places. It was a joke. A magazine, that's a great present. How many we've got three sleeping beds and two magazines. Um I don't think we really need to open any more presents actually because uh given that um well well given that we haven't got any challenges to complete, we're free to do what we want. So um we don't need stamina jerky to help us uh get out of uh, get to anywhere faster. And um uh, I, I don't think that I'm going to have trouble with any of the animals because I think that I've got the speed to outrun anything I want to and um, I'm also a good fighter so I'm not worried about I mean, my, my defence is 82 is it? 84! Oh right well that's even better Hello FGE Monster 
Oh, a present? Now, do I really need presents? I don't think I do, to be honest. Now, I've never done this before. I'm just going to... I don't think that I'm going to bother opening it. I really don't need more presents. Well, I thought it would be a crocodile here, and it turns out that it's a wolf. So that's a bit of a surprise. Amazing how it can be... Well, it, uh, bathing it in a puddle of toxic water, and yet it's actually perfectly edible. Amazing. So, stamina is 305. I've never actually been in this situation before where I just got such a great collection of presents that I don't even need any more. Um, I could put the pet back on where I can hold up to 15 presents instead, but to be honest, are we going to use 10 presents in the next 17 years? No, we won't. Um, I'd actually be surprised if we even get through um, two of them. We might get through maybe two or three. Maybe we'll use them. Whoops, uh, that wasn't quite as how I planned, but still they're running away. Um, yeah, I think that we'll probably get through maybe two of them in the next 17 years. Maybe we'll get caught up doing something stupid and there's no events. Nope, no events happening. Maybe we'll get caught up doing something stupid and uh, that will be where we need to use all the presents. Got something like that, I suppose. Well, that's not very clever, is it? Charging into a wall, you're going to hurt yourself. Okay for me, as I get more food. So, we've had 43,000 calories. Wow. Uh, no, we don't need presents. We've got enough presents. I'm happy with what I've got for now. Uh, but I'll leave that there just in case we decide to come back to it. I don't know, actually. Because I've never actually tried just leaving presents sitting there before. Uh, whether they stay there if I just leave them there. Or if they eventually get swept away or somebody else decides to collect them. I don't actually know because this isn't a situation I've ever been in before. Can we can we win a fight against tigers? We probably can, but and we probably could have gone for some fun. But an ancient showdown has begun in Shibuya Station. Okay, well I think an event like that. Um, okay, let's just see what happens. I'll talk about the event once I'm done with this fight against the tiger, which I think I can probably win. Uh, yeah, we'll try and go to that event, um, but we need to be uh, sensible about how we go to that event. We don't want to die, but I don't think that it's going to be a problem. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, this isn't very hard, actually. It just takes time, that's all it is. Yeah, so quite often the reason that I don't end up eating animals like that and I don't end up uh, taking them on in a one-on-one -on -one combat is simply because it's time-consuming. Uh, even though I didn't actually have that much trouble winning that. No, I don't think that... I think we know who win between uh, me and a bunny rabbit, so I don't think I'm going to even bother with that one. Okay, let's go and have a look at this showdown. I know I know what's going to be going on, and I'm actually going to keep quiet because um, I, ca I don't want to say too much about what's going on, um, as that kind of spoils it for you, perhaps. So, uh, now this is one of those events where we have to do it carefully. In fact, we, can, we might even be able to do a bit of spectation from here. Um, the good thing about... Oh, no... Right, um, well there's only one way past, uh, let's just, um, oh no, don't call for help, no. Where's my nail file, let's use it. Haha! <laughs> How many did I just take down, was that about four of them? I think I clean killed one of them. My life goes back up so fast. 
Hmm, there's not many other animals that I could do that with. Um, the panda might be able to just... No, actually, no, not the, no, I don't think the panda could. So I don't think the panda's got enough of a life capacity. It's got good defence, and it's got a slow attack, so no, maybe not the panda. The bear probably could manage, and I think that saber tooth they could probably manage three of those but then they can't go underground so I'm more thinking are there any animals that can go underground that could take down a pack of three panthers um, maybe the tiger or the lion could but to be honest well, I played as a tiger and I never even went underground right you're gonna pay for that and I'm not what are you doing? You are an absolute muppet. What an absolute muppet. If that crocodile had a graveyard, what would be written on it would be absolute muppet. Absolute muppet that was. So I'm hoping that Shibuya Station isn't polluted. Right, so here it is boys and girls. Let's have a look at this showdown. Maybe we can just so what we've probably got all oh right well we've got a okay well they, they seem to just be walking around oh right I think there's some action going on yeah I think that there's a Dilophosaurus there yeah that's the boss now look at that how many of them are there now that's the reason I'm not worried about that is because we can just jump down here if we get seen just jump down here and we really don't have to worry about anything so really we're just wandering around now we're just seeing what's happening and um, yeah um, I don't really know what will happen from here um, We've got enough presents that we've got five hunger pickups. Oh, right, so now that. Well, actually, we could go back and see if we can fill up that. Because that, we've used one of our presents. Should we just have another look at what's happening? Why? No, come on, don't walk around. I've come here for a show. I haven't come here just to, to watch you walk around. Let's just grab a quick drink in the middle of the. Um, well, what's supposed to be chaos? Or is the chaos all over here? No, I think... Well, I think they, they seem to be... Well, they don't seem to be having any trouble. Maybe if we go and sleep here, which is probably um, not the most sensible place to go to sleep. It'll be daytime, and we'll have a good idea of what's going on in here. But still, unfortunately, as a size 3 robot dog, um, it's not realistic to think about taking down the boss. Unless, maybe... Uh, I haven't got my nail file. Where is the boss? Maybe if it's distracted enough. There it is. If we can... I really shouldn't. This is really is not sen. No, this is not sensible at all. This is silly, and I don't think that I'm going to be able to get the boss. How many of them are there? Okay, so they've just ripped apart those two Dynanikus. So that means they'll be coming for me next. So we need to be careful. We can still grab a drink. I don't think they have anything. Oh right, or maybe they don't like me having a drink. But still, I'm not worried because I can just go down here. They can't. And I really don't have to worry about anything. So yeah, I'm not worried about them at all. Not at all. Um, okay, I think we kind of know what's going on up there. It's just watching... Um, well, it's basically just us watching... Um, uh, the uh, Dilophosaurus tearing apart the Deinonychus. Let's head towards the suburbs. We could go in the underground facility, but I think that's a bit boring. Let's go and try and find somewhere where there's some excitement. But the problem is, is I, I really don't see what we could do in, a, in an event like that. 
Um, if you beat the boss Dilophosaurus, you get a present called Terrible Claws, uh, which slightly weakens your defense in expense uh, for a much greater attack. I don't really wear these presents. I think they just make things too easy, um, especially when we're playing as an animal like this one, uh, where we can get into a fight with crocodiles, and we can actually win these fights. Uh, okay, I did get. Into, I remember I got into a bit of trouble uh, with a crocodile earlier. But our attack has improved, our defense has improved, life has gone up. So even though I'm playing this, well, very badly actually, I'm not, I haven't done well at all. I'm confident, I mean, I'm just button mashing here, I'm not actually doing this well at all. Alright, let's try and do this a bit more smartly. This crocodile is, this is a vicious one. Or maybe I should wait till it gets tired. Uh, yeah, um, I'm not that good actually at fighting the crocodiles like that, and I think the reason is because um, I don't often get into one-on-one -on -one combats. I, I far prefer uh, to sneak up on them and then just finish them off uh, when they're not looking. I don't really do these one-on-one -on -one combats, so perhaps I'm not quite as good at them as I could be. Uh, that was really bad, I was just button mashing and it, it wasn't working. But then when I started playing smartly, uh, it all went fine. So, let's just have a look at what's going on here. So, um, we have a Tosa running away from a Beagle. Okay, well I'll save that Tosa one thing to worry about. There we go, 120,000 points. Well, I thought that there were some animals uh, that were supposed to be here, but I'm not seeing them. Oh, there we go. Now, with these ones we can take out, can't we? Can we, boys and girls? Yes, we can! In one hit! And I didn't even use a nail file. Uh, but my attack is a lot more than it was when I first started this run. Now. Uh, this animal has been really, really easy to play as. Uh, it really has not been difficult in the slightest. I think it's been the easiest animal yet, actually. Um, it's been an experience for me. I've never played as a robot dog um, in a serious run before, where I actually try to get all the challenges done and, and um, survive up to 100 years. Uh, so this has been an experience for me as well. So we've got um, we've got um, a place to sleep here. I'm not going to do that because that will just make it night time and then it will be difficult to see and that is not what I want. Now it's supposed to be crazy in the shopping district if I remember right. Supposed to be. Not necessarily that it will be but discount pet food well it's better than nothing um, I do know some escape routes from the big animals here so I don't think we have too much to worry about uh, victory has been decided in Shibuya station oh, okay right so the dinosaurs in there well some of them will be gone the boss will be gone uh, the craziness will be gone uh, there might still be some things in there but it won't be nearly as bad as before now I don't really want it to be night time so, when I next get the opportunity, I'm going to sleep. Now, it looks like we've got... Okay. Uh, so, I don't think we need that one. Stamina jerky. Now, I don't actually think they can come through here. Uh, is it a bit knackered? We've got... Oh, right. We have a cheetah here. What are you doing? Oh, that was terrible. Go for it! I was a bit slow that time with the button. There we go. 
Now I can actually see quite well considering it's night time and I think that's because I'm playing as a robot dog and obviously robot dogs see very well at night time. So 50,000 calories. That's good. What do we have here? A cat. Yeah, I don't think it's really safe. Oh, that cat is not safe here. It's running away from something. Um, I'm not going to kill it. I'm going to. I'm going to let it live a bit longer. It's not from. I mean, I'm. I'm not going to hurt it. I wonder how long it would take uh, for an animal in a video game to realise that I'm not actually a threat. That really flea shampoo, the worst present of them all. I said I had a great collection, and then I get a present like that. Territory of Shibuya Station is polluted. Well, that's okay, because we won't be there very long. Okay, if you're going to attack me, you're going to regret it. Silly thing to do. So I got a scratch from a cat, and it took three off my life. Now, what's over here? I'm curious. We have... Deinonychus and a zebra, and I think I don't think the Deinonychus can keep up. So let's save the zebra some trouble. There we go. Yeah, we really have not. I, I don't think that this run has um, got the blood pressure up very much because we really haven't had to worry about anything. I might as well just have the zebra for myself. It's got no defence. And it's daytime now, uh, so that's even better. What have we got here? A cat. We don't anymore. Okay, so it seems like there's a lot of toxic food down here. We've got a Dilophosaurus running away from something, but I think... I don't think it will last long with all this food. Yeah, they have a habit. These Dilophosaurus, um, and that was very illustrative of um, how they often behave in the jungle. They get distracted by food very very easily and one tactic that you will often see me use in my videos is I just leave some food for the dinosaurs somewhere and they forget about me and they get distracted. So uh, I think that... did we have a cat somewhere down here? Because I'm wondering if we can use this tactic now uh, maybe, maybe we could use this bird here so, if I carry this bird with me to those dinosaurs, I actually think I'll probably be able to sneak past it. So, let's just carry it over and just see what happens. Um, this is something that I, this is a tactic that I often use. Well, actually, I could just go up the stairs as well. I think that's... Okay, I'm trying to be a bit too clever, I think. But when they turn round... We'll just drop it off for them. Let's just put it there. Right, that's one of them gone. Right. Oh well, we managed to get past one of them, but not both of them. If we run the Dilophosaurus into the tiger... I think they'll start... Oh no, the tiger ran away. Okay. Well, we're going to hit 100 years in a moment. So let's just have some fun. We've got another one here, but it doesn't seem to be chasing me. No, don't eat my food for me. I don't need help. You can have that one, though. And a hundred years has just been reached, so... Well done, me. And I'm the one being chased. Now, I wonder if it's going to get distracted. Yes, it will. Look at that. It's distracted again. These Dilophosaurus are really bad guards. Um, oh, well, I think we've got about two minutes until New Year's Day. Um, I'll probably hear fireworks go off when it actually happens. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. I heard fireworks earlier and I just thought, what are people doing lighting fireworks uh, before... Uh, the new year has actually even begun. Now these Deinonychus, they're just as bad as the Dilophosaurus for getting distracted. So, oh we have a polar bear here. Come on. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, saving me. 
Oh, oh no, it's not. It's, I don't think that was its intention. Um, but it's what's happening. Right, come with me. I could just go up here. If I go up here, well, actually, I think that between a polar bear and a Dynanikus, it's kind of obvious who will win. Um, my clock on the PlayStation is completely wrong, uh, so um, there's no point using that to check the time. I do have a watch right next to me, but that's also wrong. Okay, what are these Muppets doing? The Dynanikus isn't very attentive. I'm going to leave it alone. Oh right, well I think that's clear who's the winner then. He hasn't got any life left anyway. Alright, let's eat that. Now, didn't I have some fights against the polar bears earlier? And I'm pretty sure that I won it. So let's try again. Uh, yes, I, actually, yeah, I do remember. I think I, I had a fight against two of them, actually, and I won both of them. And now that we've got better stats, it shouldn't be very difficult at all. We can run up that stairway if we need to, or we can go up there. Oh, um. Hmm. Yeah, the bears, I think, are actually, for some reason, it's always the bears that I seem to be the most scared of. The predator that I uh, really don't want to attack, along with the saber toothed tiger. The saber toothed tiger and the bear. Oh, that's an opportunity. Oh, nice. We're nearly there. We are winning. We have won! There we go, well done me. Now I, I'm... No, oh, I hear fireworks going off. Okay, so Happy New Year everybody, because it seems like the new year has just started. Uh, so I can, I, can hear some, I can hear something going off. Um, I doubt the microphone will pick it up. So it appears we are now in 2021. And I'm just at the end of this run, and I'm in a polluted horrible place here are the cavemen so uh, happy new year hopefully it goes a bit better than um, well this year did this year was a disaster and this run um, well this run let's talk let's talk let's talk about this run and um, because I haven't made a video to talk about this year I've made a video to talk about this run so um, hmm, it's a slow death so maybe we can just continue moving on but it's all cavemen around. Are these cavemen? Yep, they are. So yeah, this run is pretty much over. It was a good run. Um, I'm happy with how my strategy worked. Um, I got all the challenges done, and I didn't actually really have to worry about any... Yeah, this is completely over. 104 years. Yeah, I really didn't have to worry about anything, really, throughout the whole run, because I knew all the escape routes and we had so much strength that we really were not going to get into any trouble at any moment uh, we didn't have to worry about about changing generation that was just one thing that we could completely forget about uh, so yeah really really easy animal that that was probably the easiest one yet I, I really had no trouble at all which is probably why the animal rate is times one so generation change point zero so that left me with quite a low score of only 126,000 300 so yeah um, very easy animal uh, next time we'll play as something a bit more difficult um, well it'll be uh, difficult to find anything as easy as that one uh, so maybe we'll have uh, a bit more tension next time and until then thank you for watching and I will see you all again soon